All right, so probably the coolest thing about Quan Chi is instead of, you know, like martial arts and like some of the weird like kickboxing, or whatever, he uses his powers. Like the first thing I want to show is a lot of his normal attacks are him summoning a skeleton or this tentacle. It's a creature from another dimension that he brings into the fight. Via these like rifts and portals. Exactly, right. He's a free roaming sorcerer, meaning he can open portals to any dimension without any kind of regulation. I just don't think he wants to get his hands dirty. Well, yeah, yeah. He's, he's also a very lazy fighter, right. a very clever fighter. So I figured we'll go over some of his normals. He also, I think one thing notable, he has a lot of overhead and low mix-ups. Oh, good, I love those. Like right here is an overhead big claw from his creature. Even his jabs use the creature, so a lot of range. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. He also has this magical overhead where he can charge it, oh. pop you up. This big string where it ends with this punch at the end, which I absolutely love. Yeah, I do love the like kind of throwback to him like punching and kicking through portals. Yes. I think it's super cool. That was a great thing about MKX, and this is one of my favorites. Just his standing <laughs> four is this full screen, anywhere on screen poke. That's, that's dirty. Oh, that's anywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. anywhere. And then up close, he has this. And I think this is a really fun mix-up. He can go overhead. Or he can trick you and go low. <laughs> and then I think probably my number one favorite thing that I get a kick out of is just his simple block animation. I love it. That's cool. So let's go over his special moves, which are equally crazy. The first I'll show is he has this low tentacle grab. And you can use that mix up like use an overhead, so instead you can go low. And if you can exit, it's a combo starter. Nice. He also has the classic MK4 skull. You have to. You have and if he to. exits it, he can make it go <laughs> slow. Oh. So it's more like R R R R R. Or he can make it go fast. And that'll eat up projectiles, <laughs> literally. Awesome. And he has an air one. Love it. So he's got zoning, so he really yeah. plays into this kind of like mage category. Exactly. Oh. He also has this cool bone cage. So he can do close, medium, or far, and it will stun them briefly. But what's really neat is if he EXs it, they're trapped and he can move around. Oh. And they actually can move, but they can't go forward or back. So they could, like, try to jump out, which you can then anticipate. Right. And they can even do special moves, like teleport. Then, of course, you can predict that. Mm -hmm. But they can't actually, like, traverse left or right. So it's it's not quite a stun move, but it's this weird containment it's Just thing. a trap. It's a very interesting move. He also has his teleport shot. Straight from MK4. You got to have This it. is his armor move with the EX is it. You can do it from the air or the sky. It's pretty quick. It's a great anti-zoning tool or if you just want to get out of pressure. Love it. Yeah, I and love this stomp to the face. Another zoning tool he has is these overhead fireballs. He summons them close, medium, or far. Or he can EX it. It'll track the opponent, pop them up, and then it'll bop them over the head. We don't have a lot of characters that you can either alter the speed and pace of their projectiles right. and or like where they, um, if they're close, medium, or far. Yeah, it's it's pretty unique and a lot of fun for the person doing the zoning rather than just kind of spamming a straight fireball, right. which with you tracking. can do. You can also do fun stuff with tracking. And this can also complement his low. And then he also has this really cool buff where he summons a portal to the nether realm. And if he's in this purple energy, all of his fireballs get new properties. That's so cool. They do more damage, he gets triple ones. Or this is really cool. Once this hits, they actually fall down and he can get into combos. Then he has an EX version, which is a totally different move, where he summons this repelling force and the opponent, oh, the opponent, sorry. Good. I didn't do the EX one, where the opponent then can't what? actually advance forward. Oh, what? Push me back. Yeah. yeah. So you can use that in like push them in the corner to make moves safe. Like you can't exactly punish a you know a down one from far away if you can't reach because of it. <laughs> and he can control it by holding the button and then move around. And it's the same with the purple one. Very cool. 
Yeah, so overall, I think... Oh, we should probably show his throw. I think he's got some really good range, really good mix-ups, really good setups. Like, he's a tricky kind of thinking character. I think he's going to be someone, if you like creativity, that kind of character, mm -hmm. which I think is really, really cool. And he's strong on zoning. Yes. And once you start getting moving, it's just really kind of pretty hell. The portal's popping and yes. jumping around. Really yeah, his cool. VFX, like a lot in this game, are really, really cool. He might have. this. That might be my favorite character. So let's check out his Fatal Blow. All right, Wule. <laughs> Wule, indeed. So you guys want to see Chameleon? I, th I think we do. I think we get time for it, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. So Chameleon has the ability to swap between the classic girl ninjas, Katana, Jade, and Melina. The trick is, you don't get to choose. It's totally random. And it's based on either a timer or you deciding when it cycles, but you never get to pick. You'll never get the same ninja twice in a row, but it'll always be one of the three. Each has two different moves. One is an ambush move, and one is a summon move. And they're very unique. She also has, though, first of all, this mirror move that she can always do, where the opponent will, or the player will take half damage if you hit her. So it's like an armored move. What? She'll always have access to that. And then otherwise, she gets these awesome ninja moves. So right away, I'll show you. I happen to be Melina. Oh, the best. The classic roll. It's a combo starter, and then you see I switch. Mm -hmm. So now I have Katana, and she can do the fan toss. Cool. And now I have Jade, and she can do her glow and do projectile at the end. Nice. So normally it's on a countdown. You can just see it cycling. Mm -hmm. But after every move, if you hold down R1, it'll automatically cycle to one of them. So for example, I'll do the glaive, keep R1 held, and now I switch to Melina, and I have side toss and roll. Or then if I want to hold it, now I'm Jade again, so I can do glow, hold it, switch. Ooh, I got Katana. I got fan lift, where cool. she lifts the <laughs> player instead of the opponent, so and you can do combos. Move. Exactly, instead of a combo starter. And then the final neat thing is all three have their own individual combo breaker and throw enemies. So she has three unique throw enemies, which awesome. is really neat. So I think she has really, really great moves that have many uses, but the trick is keeping track which one you are and choosing, do you want to cycle? Do you want to stay a little bit longer? How long is the timer going down? So it's kind of like what we did with Tremor, but in a different functionality, mm -hmm. and it's very neat. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun to see tournament players and K-League players, like all these, all the different moves, the different combo possibilities are very unique. There's, I think it's a really neat way to throw back to how she worked in the trilogy back in the day. Also, uh... The internet loved her bob. Her hair. It, she looks <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I love her outfit. It's super cool. Awesome. So that's chameleon. That's chameleon. Yeah. There you go.